I realized I didn't introduce myself at the beginning of the video for people that um, uh, aren't subscribed to me and don't know who I am. Hi, I'm Abby. To learn more about my chronic illnesses, you can click on the video that's up here. And I will be making a video soon about why I have Atlas, so you can just subscribe to stay tuned for that one. Hi, I figured I'd do a little like day in my life with a service dog um, vlog. I figured that, I don't know, might be interesting. This is our morning. I washed my hair last night, but like it was really late and so it's still wet, which is kind of gross, but it just means I have to blow dry my hair. I'm gonna have Captain Crunch for breakfast because I'm an adult and like usually when I go grocery shopping, I do my best to get it plastic free. But lately I've been letting myself get one plastic packaged item. Last time it was M&M's and I made trail mix that has lasted me nearly a month. And this time it was the family size box of Captain Crunch. <laughs> and obviously I don't buy everything plastic free. I'm not perfect, nobody's perfect. I don't live in a place where there are bulk goods that are affordable for someone on my budget, but I get what I can. Like. Breakfast was good, I felt like I was 12 years old again, and I'm living my best life. Why do I keep filming down here? You guys don't wanna see my mouth. You wanna see my face. Um, okay, so I'm gonna put some coffee on while I get ready, that way I have coffee. Um, I don't know why, but the colder it got, the more I wanted iced coffee instead of hot coffee. Um, I hope that changes because I would love to curl up with a nice warm cup of coffee, but ugh. but in the morning my body's like, nah man, iced coffee. So I think that's what I'm going to do, which usually consists of me making a pot of coffee and then purposefully forgetting about it for, I don't know, an hour until it cools down. And then putting like two ice cubes in my milk and sugar. I have multiple chronic illnesses and a service dog named Atlas. Bed's made. Now it's time to get ready now that I've made my bed. Now it's time to actually get ready for the day. Alright, I'm ready for the day. I'll probably take Atlas for a walk. We, my fiance's parents are coming into town this morning, and so I'll probably meet up with them. It Alrighty, we ended up just going on a really short walk around the neighborhood instead of the park because one, I am in more pain than I thought I was, and two, I spent like 30 minutes looking for my checkbook because I have to pay rent and I can't find it anywhere. Like The past like three or four walks with Atlas have been amazing. It took, it's been three weeks today, yeah. Three weeks ago today I got him, which is crazy to think it's already been that long. Um, but it also feels like it's only been like three days. It's crazy. Um, we don't want him walking on a perfect heel because when he turns two in February, he will be getting a mobility harness that um, he will use to help me with mobility work. And his shoulders and back need to be parallel with my arm and leg. And if he's behind me or too far forward, then it can cause issues. And 
I'm gonna try and get some training videos today. The more we work on things every day, the easier they become. And he's a really, 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 really fast learner. Like, it's insane how quickly he learns things. Um, he just needs a really strong hand to teach him those things. Like, he learned to talk in one afternoon, uh, but now we just work on it so that it's, you know, he continues to learn it. battery is about to die so I'm charging another one but while it's charging I figured I might as well do some homework so I am doing some IT homework um, this is these are all our capstone projects for the class and they're not due till next Friday but I've been really enjoying getting them done on the weekends because then I only have to worry about two classes instead of three um, and once it's done that's all I'll have to worry about so it'll be great all right, so I just got a text from my fiance. His family is in town, or his parents um, are in town for the game, and so we are gonna go grab lunch, but I'm not gonna bring Atlas. One, because the car is too small, and so he can't fit in the car, unfortunately. And two, since it's a game day, there are a ton of people downtown, and there are a lot of other people with their dogs, and I don't really wanna put Atlas in that environment where I know people aren't gonna respect his vest, they're not gonna respect his boundaries or my boundaries, and there's a lot of potential to have some kind of aggressive dogs. I went downtown on a game day with my sister when she was here with her service dog, and we had a lot of close calls on other people's untrained dogs, and um, so I just don't wanna put him in that environment. I really don't think it would be good for him. So he is just probably gonna sleep in his crate while we go get lunch. I'm back, I'm back! Oh my god, I'm back! <laughs> Go ahead. Thank you. Thirsty. Lunch was really good. I had a burger. It was pretty good, it was really big. I didn't finish the whole thing. Um, I think I'm gonna go back to IT. I might take a nap because I'm like really, really exhausted, so. Hey bud. How are you? Sit. Say hi, people. Okay, so it's like several hours later. It's 5.30ish now. Um, and the last time I talked to you, I was at lunch. I slept for a little bit, and then I just like mentally checked out and just kind of like lied in bed and like stared at the wall on my phone for a while. I'm gonna go to Target because the game starts in like 15 minutes and so nobody is gonna be there, hopefully fingers crossed, and do some training, um, some public access stuff. And I'll take you guys with me, of course, duh. back from the store um do you mind excuse me sir <laughs> i pulled into the parking lot and there were like a million people there even though the game's already started so we went to hobby lobby and world market instead and had some fun i had a lot of trouble not spending any money but i'm proud of myself for not spending money hey friends it's actually sunday um i realized that yesterday I like my brain checked out and I just totally forgot to film training Atlas like my in-home training that we do Sorry for, for the potato bag look, but it's a Sunday and it's chilly and I'm comfy. So 
here we go. We're gonna be training um, get it, which involves several commands. Um, get it, take, give, bring, that kind of thing. Um, tucking, sitting, stay, wow, he's so excited. Um, stay with distractions, and I think that's it. Sit, get it, bring, no, get it. Alice, get it, bring, give, yes, good boy. Leave it, leave it, yes, leave it, leave it, leave it, yes, good boy, yes. I make Atlas wait for his food, so back up, back up, sit, wait. He used to just like run in before I could even put it down and it literally took one time of me like forcing him to wait and now he just does it. So wait, 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 okay. He definitely started going before I said okay, but that uh, work in progress. It's dark because I'm sitting in the dark. Uh, I just went for a bagel for dinner and a LaCroix. I'll probably just sit here and wind down and then shower and go to bed. I don't stay up late. Uh, I get bored so I just sleep. <laughs> All right, I don't know if you guys can hear it, if it's picking up, but there are like a bunch of people just around the whole complex throwing the loudest parties possible and it's so loud i'm absolutely exhausted i'm gonna shower and then go to bed i will see you guys later rejoice in the day and be glad in it bye